fought in the Battle of Long Island on August 29, 1778. My unit was the first brigade that went out on Long Island and was discharged in December after a violent snowstorm. During the war, I was a 16-year-old apprentice blacksmith. Worked in Boston, and I worked on the night of December 16, 1773. And I remember a group of young men rushing into my shop. They grabbed some ashes from my heart and rubbed them all over their faces. And I didn't know what the heck they were doing. I didn't know what these young fellows was up to. Well, it ended up that these young kids... They went running to Griffin's Wharf to throw some tea into the harbor. They were part of the Boston Tea Party that started the damn revolution. I was a fifer during the war. I played one of those little fights in the Connecticut Regiment, and we raced towards West Point to protect it from those dad blasted redcoats. They were going to attack it. Darn that. I enlisted as a drummer boy. I served in General Washington's lifeguard unit. I was a favorite of Washington's, and he often asked me to play at his personal request. I was at the British surrender at Yorktown. I remember the British looked so downhearted when the order came to ground all arms. I witnessed the British surrender at Yorktown, the event that guaranteed the American independence. I remember Washington ordering that there should be no laughing at the British. He said, it's bad enough to surrender without being insulted. I enlisted at the age of 15 for the coastal defense of my home state of New York. The only fighting I really saw was the siege of Castine, where I was taken prisoner by the British. But they declared it was a shame to hold me prisoner because I was so young. So they quickly released me. I was a member of the elite Sheldon's Dragoons. I remember I sat up all night fanning my commanding officer, Captain George Halbert, who had been shot in a fight during which the British captured a supply ship. Is it my turn yet? Oh, okay. I was a soldier in the Continental Army when the British Army evacuated Philadelphia and raced towards New York City. My unit participated in the Battle of Monmouth. I joined the Continental Navy when I was 13 years old and served as a midshipman aboard the frigate Queen of France that I was taken a prisoner of war and was released at Providence, Rhode Island, and I walked home. My brother said when I arrived at home, I was deaf in one ear and I couldn't hear out of the other. From all those dad blasted kings on those ships. Noisy. As a teenager... I helped care for the wounded in my hometown of New Haven, Connecticut, after the British invaded. I was commissioned as surgeon's mate when I was only 16 years old, shortly after I graduated from Yale University. My job was to extract bullets from soldiers during the battle. In 1781, I was part of General Washington's great sweep to Yorktown, Virginia, and which led to General Cornwallis's surrender and the American victory in the Revolution. During the fighting at Yorktown, I was an eyewitness to many battles of General George Washington, General Knox, 
and Colonel Alexander Hamilton. I was a Minuteman from Lehebuck, Massachusetts. I mobilized with my unit and helped seal off a British garrison in Boston after the battles of Lexington and Concord. I also served several short enlistments, fought in the Battle of Bennington on August 16, 1777.